prizes tonight are uh, for the uh, MPs. Uh, Sam Wilkins, Wealth Secrets of the 1%. Uh, there you go. The Truth About Money Markets and Multimillionaires. That's for you, David. Uh, and, um, and uh, oh, to keep you home, a beautiful, styly wheat oh, oh, heat that. bag. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, that's that's for, the, that. that's for the, uh, the audience. All right, here we go. Only one round tonight. Okay, who's addressing the British House of Lords tomorrow? Winston, Winston Peters. Yes. Oh, my gosh. All right. What? <laughs> it's so ridiculous, I All mean, right. come on. What's the most popular hotel on the Cayman Islands? The Ritz-Carlton or the Sunset Hotel? The Ritz-Carlton. Oh. Yes. Oh. I had a 50-50 chance. I was gonna <laughs> guess. All right. All right. I was gonna guess. And when does Australia go to the polls? Second of July 2nd. July. Second. July. What? July. Second of July. July. Yes, Tim. Okay, uh, we need got one, one more. True or false? Sir Jerry Matapare is New Zealand's next UK High Commissioner to London. True. Oh. Is false, it? False. It hasn't been. Yep. Uh, it has, yeah. Who knows? Yeah. Oh, who knows? Yeah. Oh, who knows? <laughs> you can you can you can restate it if I later if I'm wrong. All right. One more. One more. What's the name of the company at the centre of the wine box quarry? Oh. What, what oh, was? Mom, mom, second. Oh God, how do you? The wine box. Oh, the wine box. Yeah, yeah the wine box. box. Oh. What He's century was old that? Oh, yeah. oh, my God. <laughs> it was too Pacific long. something. Euro too long ago. European Pacific. Yeah. European David Pacific. Can yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. David, David can win. David can win. Yeah. Yeah. Round of applause for David. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Not a time for the audience. We'll give this away to a random punter uh, uh, after the show. All right, time for uh, I've been thinking, the legendary I've been thinking, Marama, to the camera, 30 seconds. I've been thinking about all of our people who are sleeping rough on the streets or in cars or in garages or just taking months to find a place to rent and how this is one of the most urgent issues in our country. We have to stake it at the front and do everything, do all the things we can <laughs> to fix this. There you go. All right, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Tim McIndo, I've been thinking. This is a fabulous country to grow up in and to raise a family. And children who grow up here in a loving home have the best advantage of all. But we are still maiming and killing far too many of our children. One child harmed is an absolute tragedy. And that's why I was so strongly in support of Paula Bennett and great work she did for vulnerable children and the Children's Action Plan. And it's why I'm right behind Anne Tolly with the fantastic job she is doing to transform our entire care and protection system. But you know, it's not just about all the agencies. We've all got a responsibility. We've all We've all got to intervene yeah. to help protect right. our own children. Right. Thank you, Tim. Mm. Thank you. And Phil Goff, I've been thinking. Phil. Oh, here's one for the Aucklanders. We've had a guts full oh. of traffic congestion. <laughs> We've had a guts full of the $3 billion in wasted productivity, the frustration, the lost leisure time, the extra pollution and carbon emissions. We've been thinking it's time the government and Auckland Council got their act together. More busways, light rail, walkways and cycleways, building houses around the arterial people. routes and around the transport hubs. We won't fix it overnight. We've got to have a strategy now to fix it. Oh, very good, Phil. And finally, David Seymour, I've been thinking. Oh, I've been thinking Phil gets a uh, parliamentary salary still. Uh, but I've also been thinking about the Mossack Fenter for the, the, the Panama Papers, uh, about the TPP, uh, and about the foreign buyer numbers for housing. And the theme is that there's a group of people who are afraid of the world, who resent New Zealand's place in it, who resent global trade, who resent commerce. Uh, and then there are those of us who are very proud of the fact that our country is a part of the world that is prosperous, that is doing great, and we don't fear any right. of that. That's us. That's us. Round one. Big round of applause to the team. <laughs> to Hayley. Yeah. To Nikki and Tyrone, to the producers. See you next Wednesday night. Thank you. Supporting local content so you can see more of New Zealand on air.